today's project, we're going to be using some geometric shapes. and some patterns. Please get ready to make a practice paper with me to practice drawing your geometric shapes and practice drawing some patterns. First, let's talk about our geometric shapes. Geometric shapes are shapes that have names and straight edges like triangles, circles, squares, rectangles, trapezoids, parallelograms, and hexagons. Can you practice drawing each of those shapes on your paper? Pause the video if you need to, to practice. Next, let's do patterns. A pattern is a line or a shape or a color or some sort of design using elements that repeat. So, if I want to make a pattern using lines, I can use straight, horizontal, straight, horizontal, straight, horizontal, straight, horizontal. That creates a pattern. Those two things repeat. You can also use shapes, triangle, circle, triangle, circle. I can also use colors to create a pattern by coloring in my shape. Those patterns were made with two elements. Patterns can also be made with three different types of elements. For instance, we could use line, triangle, squiggly, line, triangle, squiggly. Notice that these are the three things here that repeat over and over again to create our pattern. Practice making at least three of your own patterns on your practice paper. Try coloring them in if you want. Let's have a pattern with lines, shapes, and let's use color to create our pattern. I'll try one more here to give you another example while you start practicing. How many different types of patterns can you make? Please submit your practice paper of your geometric shapes and your patterns in your assignment for the week of September the 17th. Next, let's get to our artwork. 
we're going to use our geometric shape and our pattern to make a robot with a pattern border. Let's start with our robot. First, pick a shape for the robot's body. I'm going to pick a rectangle. We want our robot's body to be pretty big and close to the center of the page, leaving space for the head and where the arms and the legs are going to go. Don't forget, we also need space for our border. Next, I'm going to use a trapezoid for the neck of my robot. And I'm going to give my robot a triangle head. What kind of shapes are you going to use for your body, neck, and head? Next, I'm going to use some circles for the joints of my robot where the arms and legs are going to attach. And I will use some rectangles to make the arms of my robot. I'm putting circles where the robot's arms would move. I'm going to give him triangles for hands. Next, I think I'll use trapezoids again for parts of his legs. Use any shape you want. This is time to use your imagination to make your robot. And connect as many geometric shapes as you want to make your robot. Interesting. I'm going to add circles at the bottom. So it looks like he has wheels for feet. Maybe he rolls around. And now we can add extra details inside of our larger shapes with more geometric shapes if we want to show details like little screens or buttons on our robot. I'm going to make a pattern on my robot's body. Maybe there's an extra panel of something right there. Details. Now, all that's left for my robot is a face. I'm going to use a triangle this way and a triangle this way for the eyes. And I'll use a triangle this way for my mouth to make him look like he's smiling. And how about a zigzag line for an antenna? Pause if you need to, to work on the shapes of your robot. Next, I'm going to work on the pattern of my border. I'm going to do the same pattern on the bottom and the top, and I'm going to do a different pattern on the sides. Let's do triangle and bumpy line on the bottom and top. So I have a pattern with two elements here. And on the side, I'm going to create a pattern with three elements. Let's do I'm going to keep something sim similar so that it still looks like it goes together. Circle, bumpy line, triangle, circle, bumpy line. 